Hi, today I've got some more information on how coronavirus spreads and the news is not very reassuring. Scientists at the American Academy of Sciences have told the White House in a letter that coronavirus can spread through talking and breathing. This essentially means that the virus is airborne and uh, it, it spreads a lot more easily than was believed earlier. So what they've said is that the virus can stay suspended in the fine mist that we exhale while we are talking and while we are breathing. So up till now, the advice given by WHO and uh, scientists who've been studying the virus was that infection occurred through uh, droplets which were expelled when an infected person coughed or sneezed. These droplets would either fall on somebody's face or hands and infect them or they would contaminate surfaces which could be tabletops, door handles, um, walls and uh, different objects and then when a person who was not infected would touch them and then touch their face they would accidentally inhale some of the virus and it would cause infection again but the new information on how it spreads while just talking and breathing is making scientists re-examine how we can protect ourselves whether everyone should wear a mask but it's it's not that easy well there have been some studies done earlier which have indicated the virus could stay suspended in air for a long time the New England Journal of Medicine had reported uh, last month that the virus could stay suspended as an aerosol in air for up to three hours after a person coughed or sneezed. And another study which was done in the US in the University of Nebraska Medical Center found that the virus could exist, could spread as an aerosol beyond a two meter radius of a person who was infected with COVID. So what they did was they went and examined the room of a person who was in isolation and looked for uh, viral remnants all across and they found it in hard to reach places which showed that the virus could spread beyond a two meter radius of the patient. So, uh, but masks are not uh, the only answer. Sure, we need them to protect our health workers. But what's also happening is sometimes the personal protection material equipment that's used by uh, nurses and doctors and people around uh, an infected person can also become a source of infection. A study from China had found that the virus could get resuspended in air while a health worker was removing their personal protection equipment, which would mean body suits, um, masks, gloves. Uh, so there's always a danger of the personal protection equipment reinfecting the person. I mean, which is why when we use masks, and a lot of us have started doing that when we step out. We need to be really careful, you have to get rid of it because the mask has can trap the virus and you may be protected while you're wearing it but while you're taking it off you can infect your hands. So if you're using a mask, always when you're disposing it, one, dispose it after single use and two, you must wash your hands after you've disposed of it. So what uh, doctors and scientists so far are saying is that everyone needn't wear a mask because ultimately we need these masks for our health workers because uh, many of them are getting uh, infected uh, while they're taking care of COVID patients. So what you can do is protect your nose and mouth with a handkerchief, scarf or whatever you have. And whenever you reach home, as soon as you reach home, do take it off and wash it and air it so that it does not trap the virus.